Welcome creative people. This is Catherine with The Motley Art and I have a series that I'm going to start where I'm using the Isabella paper collection by Close to My Heart and I'm showing you here the coordinating cardstock that has the colors mink, sage, ballerina, lemonade, and bluebird and then I'm going to show you each of the pages. I did cut them down to six by six. They are front and back so I'm showing you one side each. But I am going to focus on those last two designs for this particular two page layout, which is going to be a six by six two page layout. I also end up using several different stamps with this project. So for these two pages, I used the Isabella card making stamp set and the Eat Play Love card making workshop for the sentiments, along with some decorative items. And I also used one sentiment from Every Bit of Wonderful. All of the information about the Close to My Heart products are in the description below. I am a maker with Close to My Heart, so if you use the link in the description, I will earn a commission on anything you purchase, but it won't change the price for you. And that will just help to support my channel. You can also help to support my channel by subscribing. I would love for you to see what I make next. So. There I was just showing how I cut the papers down and I was able to use that large scrap, so to speak, from the page and I just loved so much how these two papers coordinated with themselves that I wanted to use both the A side and the B side. So I stamped out my sentiment and then I chomped down the corners to make it look like a stub and then I punched a hole in each side. I thought it would look like a little sign that I could put up and I do that on both pages with two different sentiments. And then I'm going to use my silver thread from close to my heart here to attach that to the main square there. So as I said, I'm making this as a motivation slash gratitude journal. So all of the sentiments that I'm picking are going to be more like motivational or uplifting sentiments. And then I'm going to add some gratitude journaling in here. I may even add a photo, but I haven't decided yet. So I have plenty of space that I've left to put a photo if I want. But if I just want to do it more as a journal, then I can just put the writing in there as well in that spot. So I'm going to glue those two pieces together and then I'm going to attach on my sentiment and I'm going to wrap around the thread to the back and I'm going to use a little tape to secure it there just to make sure that it stays nice and secure onto the page and doesn't come up over time. I did use double sided so that it'll actually adhere as well to the bottom layer and it just gives a little extra insurance that is really going to stay attached. So I'm going to glue everything down, but before I put my main focal area, I'm going to add some silver foil sticker that I created with Cricut. So Cricut has different foil stickers paper that you can purchase along with their vinyl and I do use their vinyl in this way as well because I just think it works so nicely. I also love to make sentiments out of their vinyl and use it on cards or on scrapbooking. It just really looks very nice and you can cut them out so easily. You do have to do a little bit of weeding but it's really not that hard and I kind of enjoy doing the weeding so I don't mind it. The only thing that I found is when I originally cut this foil it looked like it had cut all the way through but it had not so if you're going to get the Cricut foil then you want to make sure you're using the intricate cut or a double cut to make sure that it really gets through all of the layers because it's like one layer didn't cut all the way through that's why I had to use my exacto knife but you can feel where it made that initial cut so it's very easy to just kind of lightly go and cut off that little extra but I love to use them and I just have them there so that I can pull off the different strips and use them on my cards or my scrapbooking and I know some people don't like to mix metals 
I don't mind. Sometimes I will make silver and gold together. I don't think it's the end of the world if you do that. But for this particular layout, I just really wanted to stick with silver as much as possible. So I'm using it in a lot of different little elements. So I used it in the thread. I now used it with the foil. And then I'm going to also use it a little bit later with some glitter gems by Close to My Heart as well. So once I get that all attached, I also am going to add this heart that I created. Now, this was a wood veneer heart by Close to My Heart that I then I stuck it down to a piece of paper and then filled it with pink stickles. And I did a second one for my other page that I filled with yellow stickles and they just offer a little bit of glitter and a little bit more color and I just think they're really really pretty even though I tell you the yellow one came out so much better than the pink one the yellow is definitely has more glitter to it but I think they're both really nice so I also created these little squares that I'm putting down here as some more embellishment and then I'm going to put the glitter gems in the middle of them and I used that Isabel stamp set where I actually stamped a background image first in the yellow and then I stamped the motifs that come in that stamp set with the blue and I used bluebird and lemonade stamp colors for that and I just really love how they came out. Here is my second page and so you can see both of them together. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comment section below. I would love to hear it. And I hope that you have a very creative day.